Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to do another video on uh, dealing with matplotlib and we're going to stick with histograms for the time being and like I told you last time we are going to look on uh, the tick marks. So all right, I'm going to show you a little bit about bins with histogram and then some tick marks. So all right. Uh, and if you did not watch, if you do not know what histogram is, uh, last video on my matplotlib, uh, uh, probably f five, four videos, five videos ago. So all right, now this right here, all I did was take a um, randomly generated. I took, a, I did a range function, 20, uh, 20 numbers, uh, and I did a random on uh, 1 through 10. So all right, randint. And also, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, but if there is something that I'm not explicitly speaking to, there's been a video before this one. So all right, and it's all searchable. So all right, let's just jump into it. So last time we did hist x then show, all right? Everybody remember that? And then we get, and I think you guys can see everything. Let me move this down one more. So, all right. So, we see this. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. So, now, right now, it is going to, Python is going to, matplotlib is, matplot, matplotlib, excuse me, is going to guess and group these how you want. So, now I'm going to change this to I want to tell you to make 20 bins and all that is is one two three four so on and so forth 20 of them now that's still not really that great so now let me show you this the probably a really super awesome way um, so you can make sure it's really clear and it's not misinterpreted. So all right, bins equals list. And I want you to think about this. Is it, we're gonna get tick marks from zero. Let's do range zero through 10. So we gotta include, okay. And then we do plt dot uh, X ticks and then we just dump in basically it's what do you want the marks to be well I want 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I want those to be my new tick marks while still having 20 bins so now this clears up any misinterpretation that if somebody were to look at that and quickly go the last time they could have said, all right, that, there was four on one. Well, nope. This clearly marks it as there are zero for zero and zero for one. And the first occurrence is two and there's four of them. So I prefer, I prefer going and making my own tick marks because it is explicit. And that goes back to uh, the Zen of Python being explicit in everything we state and I extend that into everything I do. So like I also said, if I'm not explicitly speaking to it, we've done a video before. And what we do here is we slowly build one thing on another. So okay, here, this is bins and ticks. So like always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and most important, the notification bell because we got videos every single day and I don't want you missing out. And also, most important, this is your channel. So if there's anything that you'd like to see, anything you don't quite understand, please don't hesitate to ask. I've actually gotten some really good video ideas from that, and I'm very appreciative because I want you to help lead this channel where you need it to go. So like always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.